Hey boys, how's it going? Hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, new year coming, you know? I don't know how your year went. Hope next year's better. Either way. So, uh, this dickhead, who I just from time to time shit on, because I don't like him. Like Kyle Kalinske of Secular Talk, he used to work for the Young Turks, and then he, I guess, decided... I don't know. I don't know what he said. He doesn't work for them anymore. But he still has a show called Secular Talk. And for some reason, Crystal Ball from, like, Sagar and Crystal, like, are working with him. Or she's working with him. I, I, which is annoying. I don't know. I like Crystal. But anyway, I, I don't like this dude. I haven't made... Go watch my other videos shitting on him. I did a video where he had Jordan Peterson on his, uh, like, show. And it was just pathetic, dude. Jordan Peterson was, like, <laughs> kind of raising his voice at this dumbass. And I would have liked to have seen less kid gloves with Kyle here. But, uh, it is what it is. Why America is the greatest country in the in the world? Uh, I don't know. Because we were lucky to have the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean, the Constitution, obviously the Bill of Rights, and... Yeah, I mean, the petrodollar, just the amount of wealth capitalism has created. I mean, there's multitudes of reasons why America is the greatest country on the earth. And I'm sure that he's going to be into, like, oh, Scandinavia and the Germans. And they have all these programs, like, that, uh, yeah, <laughs> they have all these programs. And it's like, yeah, but they also don't have to pay for defense because the United States does that for them. They would be willing to fight to the last American drop of blood to, you know, save their uh, welfare programs and not have to actually, you know, pay to defend themselves. Trump brought this up, NATO. Everyone acted like he was an asshole. He's like, no, you're not paying up. You need to pay your share like you agreed to do. And also, why are you taking all this fucking oil from Russia? They could just shut it off. And that's exactly what happened. Everyone's like, what, what a jackass. What a... No. But here, let's uh, let Kyle and uh, Patrick Bet David have the floor. I like Patrick Bet David. I don't like that he didn't push back on Kyle so much here. And it's just is like an awkward thing for Kyle. Kyle, anytime he's moving his lips, he's just it's just such a fucking like broken record. <laughs> it's like such a broken record that it's annoying. Here, maybe I should do this. I don't really. All right. Um. Yeah, but anytime the dude is like says anything at all you suspect that like his mouth is only moving because Bernie Sanders dick is hitting him in the lips. Cause that's all this dude does pretty much just Bernie Sanders slobbing on Bernie Sanders dick all the time. There's this whole thing and he'll get into socialism and whatever fucking democratic socialism or whatever it is. He fucking, I, this is going to be annoying. I fucking hate this kid. Peter Tremont. Hey, uh, Patrick, you're 22 years old, I'm a regular guy. You know, my parents divorced. I don't have a lot of money. My dad's a cashier at a 99 cent store. I came from Iran. I lived at a re refugee camp. I'm a regular guy. There's nothing about me that I'm coming with family money, <laughs> any of this stuff. Sell me the drink. Hey, Patrick, you ought to one day dot, dot, dot. Sell me that drink. What does that look like? Well, I mean, I think you should do whatever it is that you want to do. So he's got nothing. And you should not ask Kyle this at all. Kyle is like UBI and, you know, trillions and trillions of more fucking dollars in government spending and government programs. Like, I mean, okay, sorry. I think you should be able to have a shot to do that fairly. So, in other words, I don't think you should go bankrupt if you get medical bills. I don't think you should, you know, have student loan debt. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's so extensive that you can't ever pay it back. And by the way, you also can't file for bankruptcy on it because that's the way that they wrote the laws. Um, I don't think people should be loaded up to the brim with credit card debt. Credit card debt is at a record high right now. I just read a stat the other day. 63% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. So, All right. Yeah. Well, whose fault is that, dude? Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm pretty much living paycheck to paycheck. I mean, I got money. You know, I got, like, it's not, like, desperate or anything. But, yeah. Whose fault is that? What the hell are you talking about? Credit card debt. Who the fuck forced anyone to take credit card debt? The fuck does the government have to do with that? Aside from like interest rates or something. Uh, to sell you on the dream, I would honestly just point at 
some of the Scandinavian countries and say, look, they haven't eliminated capitalism. What they've done is they've harnessed the good parts of capitalism and mix it in with the good parts of socialism so that they have, you know, an intelligent hybrid where somebody who's... Yeah, dude, and they pay out the ass in taxes. It's totally fucking ridiculous. And again, they have America's defense. Like, they don't have to spend on security. And they use, like, oil and gas to pay for, like, a most of this program, which you would be against. So, don't even care, dude. Like... He always does, just like Bernie Sanders. Again, he's talking. Bernie Sanders' dicks are the reason his mouth is moving. He's just like <clears throat> getting all fucking down to the balls. Scandinavia, Scandinavia, and then he. I think he like describes like I don't know. Essentially, like we don't have like an all lazy fair capitalist system, and we don't have a socialist system. We have like a mixed market economy. I think is the words he's trying to look for, the phrase he's trying to look for, but. And it's like, okay, dude, like how expensive do you think are the social welfare programs we have today are like just social security, Medicare and Medicaid. It's like most of the budget. dude. It's like, okay. 22 years old, just getting out of college, can have a chance to do whatever they want and make it. It's okay. So I, I rebuttal because let's just say my, uh, uh, there's a classmate sitting there and his dad's an executive at IBM. Hypothetical. Mm -hmm. He's doing six hundred thousand okay. dollars. He lives in a nice community. Yep. He says, "Kyle, you know, uh, if my dad's told me if 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 these Scandinavian countries are so great, how come you're not moving there? And why is it that forty million immigrants choose to come to America? And why don't they choose to go to some of these countries? What do you tell that to me?" Forty million. Yeah, that's probably closer to the amount of illegal immigrants we got coming here. I mean, I guess we're just gonna get. 10 million before Biden leaves office. I mean, shit, we already got 5 million with this motherfucker. It's been two years. And Kyle, he goes on to talk about, like, I wish I wish there would have just been more pushback from Patrick. Well, why I'm not going there is because it's fucking cold. <laughs> I'm in Miami. That's I'm enjoying being yeah. in Miami right now. Um, yeah, and they probably wouldn't let you in because they're not retarded and they don't have a welfare state that's, like, very extravagant and just, like, let any jack jackass into the country, unlike us. And Kyle, like, I, I want higher wages. I think people should be able to make a living that, you know, they can, they like, they'll be okay. And they don't have to live paycheck to paycheck. And it's like, yeah, I, I agree, Kyle. You know, a good place to start would uh, to be, um, I don't know, stop importing poverty into the country that we have to compete with for jobs. That'd be like a good start. But he doesn't even care, dude. He's like, no, immigrants contribute. It's like, okay, how? Driving down the wages of Americans that you pretend to care about? Like, I just can't stand this fucking guy. I want to talk to Kyle. I, I would just, like... And I would be civil, dude, but I would be like, eh, I got some questions for you, motherfucker. Like, everything you're saying is just so cliche. It's just, like, the dude is wrapped in this ideology of Bernie Sanders. He just is. Like, that's the only other way to describe it. And he won't shut the hell up about the Iraq war. Never hear the end of that. It's like, yeah, dude, I was against the Iraq war too, but fuck it, man. So if it was warm, you would go, is what you're saying. Uh, no, because I love my country. I love America. Whenever I criticize America... Uh, objection. <laughs> no, I, I don't think you do. I don't think you do at all, Kyle. I would like... <laughs> Why do you love America, Kyle? Because pretty much all you do is shit all over America and, like, support people that shit all over America and people that, you know, hate this country, even though they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They've never been in anywhere else. Yeah. And, um, yeah, shit on the American flag. Kyle's on your side. Burn down fucking half the country. Yeah, Kyle supported that. Hands up. Don't shoot. Yep. Kyle defund the police so kyle yeah yeah he i guess recently came out and said that was a bad idea or some shit it's like yeah way to come around on that one how big of you no kyle is fucking retarded this dumbass the idea that he loves america is just so fucking laughable so fucking laughable what about american culture or like traditions or values do you like kyle and he said some retarded shit like dissent is the the most some founding father, he's like, some founding father said dissent was the most, um, I don't know, highest form of patriotism. I've heard that before. But it's like, yeah, you would say that because you shit all over the country all the time. Coming from a place of, 
Like, I want to try to... And then try to rap... Like, the dude will be like, all of these people are racist slave owners, and, you know, they're bad, and America, the founding of America was a crime, and he'll talk about Jim Crow and slavery and all this shit. And then he's like, I love America. What a fucking joke, man. What a fucking joke. Everything about this country is bad or wrong, but I think that there are things we can do. And, you know, it's a very famous quote from Bowser, America, shut the fuck up. Is the highest form of patriotism. Bowser. In the same way that, if, you know, God forbid, you know, we saw one of our kids bought a high school instruction in Iraq. No, it's not like, the same thing. You know what? We're going to try to get them some help. We're going to try to get you in rehab. We're going to work yeah. on this. We're going to fix this. It's that same mindset that you would apply to the country. It's, yeah, know. it is that mindset where you think the country is a fucking drug addicted crime that, uh, you know, needs your help. And what is your help, Kyle? What do you recommend? Socialism? Trillions of dollars? You just confiscating people's money, you know, destroying businesses. And then be like, I'll do it in the name of giving people good paying jobs. It's like, you don't know how any of this works, you dumbass. Like, you don't know how any of this works. And this dude, this is like all academic to him. And he's still a dumbass. Like he. When you look at some of the things going on in this country, you say, this can't continue. I mean, we have 45,000 Americans that die every year because they don't have access to basic health care. That's something we can fix. And, it, and, you know, there's a lot of uh, work yeah. convincing people that it's just a law of nature and there's nothing we can do about it. No, there's a lot we can do about it. Okay, so let's stay on that. Let's stay on that. Hang yeah. on. I want to stay on that. So I want to go to the 22-year-old and sell him the drink to this kid. So going back to it, you know, uh, I don't know who we have here on the podcast. Yes, but uh, somebody recommends a restaurant to you. How do you and I judge a restaurant at noon? Like we say, hey, you know what? I've never been to Rifle before. Let's go there to eat for lunch. How do you and I judge a great restaurant? We, how, the, how the food tastes, how the atmosphere is. And then, okay, so the atmosphere meaning what? If, if the place is packed at noon and there's 100 people there and 20 people waiting to get inside, they're doing something right, mm -hmm. okay? If you and I go to a restaurant at night and you're, you're like, there's a restaurant in L.A., Rafi's Place, I go there all the time. If you go there on Mother's Day, it's a three-hour wait, okay? Every day it's busy. It doesn't matter when you go out, right? If yeah, you, do, you, do you get the point, Kyle? Do you see what he's trying to get at? Why do we need to radically change the restaurant if it's working, if people want to go to it? And honestly, I wish there were fewer people coming to this fucking restaurant, if that's the analogy he wants to use. Wait, I just, yeah, okay. Anybody says anything bad about the restaurant, like to say, well, you know, my, my thing is I want to make this restaurant better because I think this restaurant, can, if they put the chairs this way and it's not fair to the fact that the employees and the bus boys and da, 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 da. And I'm like, yeah, dude, but, but it's a good restaurant, but it's always, it's not, it's not a good restaurant because you and I have an opinion. That's a good restaurant. It's a good restaurant because it's always flipping packed, right? So if America was, and I know this is a random analogy I'm using, but if America was a restaurant. America is so packed and it's got a waiting list that if it's so bad with the existing ideas that it has, why do so many people still want to come here and not anywhere else? Well, uh, there's a very simple answer to that question, which is if you look at the places that a lot of these people are fleeing, they've been absolutely obliterated. They've been destroyed. So a lot of these countries have been ravaged by the drug war, whether it's, you know, I think in Honduras, I read a fact a couple of years ago in Honduras. Yeah. What are you getting at, Kyle? I know what he's getting at. The drug war. Yeah, the, again, broken record. The drug war. and These poor people in these countries. You know, if we wouldn't make drugs, if we would just make drugs legal, then these people wouldn't have to, I don't know, deal with all the violence and criminality. And it's like, I don't know. Like, why? What the fuck? Like, no, these people aren't going to dictate our laws because, <laughs> because they're a bunch of criminal, like, cartels and criminals in their countries that fuck everything up. You know, Trump had a good idea. We should, like, go down to Mexico, go south of the border, and just kill all the car cartel members. Just invade Mexico. Sortie bomb these motherfuckers. Yeah. I don't know. I could support that. Maybe occupy Mexico for a while. You know, get control of their southern border to stop these people coming to ours. And people are like, but they want a better life. And I was like, I don't care, dude. I want a better life. Like... Everyone wants a better life. I don't give a fuck. These foreigners, first of all, I just don't, I don't like them. Like, they're weird. There's something different about these people. Like, their face. It's looking at their face, I could tell. Peasant. Like, you're a peasant. And, like, yeah. And you, like, he talks about how much he cares about Americans and the da downtrodden and shit. And it's like, I don't know. 
you could start by like I don't know <laughs> like not letting these people in the country and he's like no but that'd be inhumane and it's like okay well then good luck with your higher wages for Americans that you don't give a shit about there's more violence than there was in Iraq at the peak of the Iraq. Don't know, don't care. I'm going to try to flee that. I'm yeah, of course. And they're going to go through multiple countries until they get to the United States, which is fucking bullshit. It's like, I don't even care. Yeah, all of these people. There's like this cloud of violence and corruption that follows them everywhere they go. In their own countries, here. It's like, I don't know, maybe it's them. Think about that. Maybe like culture matters. Like people think like, I hate this fucking cultural relativist shit. And I know they're not really talking about like cultural relativism, but that's what Kyle is. Kyle is a cultural and moral relativist. Like nothing matters. Like whatever's convenient. But always in the name of helping raise wages for people and then turning around and doing the exact opposite or advocating for the exact opposite. Like, Kyle is a little bitch, and the idea that he, I love America. No, he does not. I don't know about you. I'm trying to flee that. I'm going to try to take care of my yeah. kids. Don't know. Don't care. Go to go to Brazil. Go some other. Go somewhere else. Don't, like, go skip through multiple countries until you get to America. I'm like, fuck you, dude. I don't even care. I don't even like these people. People are like, you have to like people. I, no, I don't, dude. I lived in their shitty neighborhoods. Fucking throw trash all over the goddamn ground. Fucking, uh, Can't stand these people, dude. You speak Spanish. Like, no, bitch. I don't. Mexico, similar situation. Been One here 20 years, still talking about, you speak a Spanish. Uh, with help from our policy, we've made these narco states, you know, south of us. Yeah. And so you have these, you know, gangster states that are run by drug cartels. Yeah. What we've done Kill is, them all. Course, them Use the United States, States military to do something good, good for our fucking self for once. The black market. That's how you make the drug cartels more powerful. The same, the same thing happened here with prohibition when it came to uh, the mafia. We made the mafia way more powerful because we decided to make alcohol illegal. That's what yeah. Don't care. I don't give a fuck, Kyle. We shouldn't legalize meth because otherwise people south of the border are going to make meth and sell it to Americans. Don't care. Fuck these people. God, what a fucking bitch. <laughs> we, yeah, our law should constitute like no kyle fuck you fucking dumbass look at him smiling he, he's always got this pompous smug look on his face can't stand it and they got their most uh, power and he sounds like a total jackass so a similar thing happened with the drug war what i would do is number one stop intervening in those countries militarily and that's you know, a long conversation we can well, fuck you i say we do intervene in those countries militarily do something at our southern border that fucking make a change for once. Yeah, go kill all the cartel members. Fuck them. Arrest members of the government. Doesn't matter. Don't care. Fuck them. Close the border at the south of Mexico and at the northern border. Like, do something about all these fucking peasants that are going to destroy your precious welfare state that you want to expand on. Dude, fuck these people. And fuck you, Kyle. Like, no, we should go in there. Sortie missile these motherfuckers. Fuck them. Clean up Mexico. Say, you want to do this shit here? We're going to have troops stationed in every fucking state here. Or province, whatever the hell they call shit old states of Mexico. Yeah, don't care. Like, no. I think we should intervene, Kyle. Because it's such a shit show at our border. It's fucking over the taxpayers. It's fucking leading to all of these invasion of peasant-faced third world people into our country, which drives down wages and fucks over the supposed welfare state you give so much a fuck about history of the u.s intervening there, yep. and number two let's end the drug war so in other words talking about like honduras in 1956 off the neck of a lot or 54 or whatever year it was fuck you there. kyle I, say, I, I really believe this i think a lot of the people who are coming here if they felt like their home country was safe and clean and okay yeah. then they wouldn't want to come here i think yeah it, let's invade them fuck them well or just mexico Deal with Mexico and then just seal off their border. Like, I don't care at this point. These people are invading my fucking country. <laughs> I don't care, Kyle. I don't give a shit about their sob stories of, oh, there's so much corruption and violence in my country because drugs are legal in America. Don't give a fuck. Illegal in America. Sorry. In, in many cases, it's, it's a desperation type move. But it's not yeah. just well, they go through multiple it's, fucking it's, countries. Okay. Polish element. Is it Polish or what? Uh, yeah, so I'm, my, my 
my mom's mom is from Italy, basically. And on my dad's side, it's more of a... My last name, Kalinski, is a Polish last name, but it's I think it's a little more uh, so like confusing a, than that. You're a little bit, you got a little bit of everything. Yeah, I got a little bit of everything. About, I mean, you, you, take, you, you take your uh, uh, Italian, right? you take Jews, you take anything else you take. If America is so bad, and some people sell it as being so bad, why do people keep coming here? What is, uh, uh, what is so... Like, okay, when we were in Iran, we had options. People were going in to Spain, some were going to Australia, some were going to this, only because they couldn't make it to America. But yeah, I know, it's annoying. I wish they would stop. Seriously, I wish these foreigners would just fucking stop. I wish our laws weren't retarded. <laughs> like, I wish we just pushed all these people back at the border. Thank God for the Atlantic Ocean, or we'd look like Europe and fucking all the bullshit you see in Germany and Paris and London. Oh my God, look at pictures of London. I always thought I wanted to go to London when I was a kid. Not anymore the fuck there's like no english people there at all and thank god for the atlantic ocean dude because i don't think i could deal with that shit fucking just muslims everywhere <laughs> like i think i would just be like i don't even know dude i don't even know like i really feel bad for the people of the uk and france and germany and just god the, the african migrants and the I don't know, dude. I gotta say, the Mexicans and all these third world peasants are fucking better than them, for sure. Like, I, I'm just glad. Uh, Everybody's number one on the list was to come to America. You know, what I'm right? Saying? It yeah. wasn't like they. Oh, if these people were Muslims, fucking America would invade Mexico. We put a stop to that shit. Again, going back, that that is my biggest argument here. If America is so bad, if capitalism is so bad and abusive. Why do so many people who are actually leaving an abusive environment are willing to come to a place that offers capitalism? Yeah, please don't. He's not got the last name of Mitt Romney. His last name is Bed David. My parents haven't given me a penny. I, last time I got an allowance, I was 14 years old. I, I'm not an allowance. I don't even know what allowance is, to be honest. I'm not even being sarcastic. I don't know what an allowance is, right? And so I come up here, I'm like, I don't give a shit if you give me allowance. I'm just happy to be here. And I'm going to bring my Middle Eastern work ethic, and I'm banking on something's good going to happen to me. I don't have the money to go to school. I don't have the grades to go to school. Maybe I'm going to go in the military, get my act together, be away from some of these guys that are doing Yeah. Not my friends were. Yeah, dude. But <laughs> I don't know, dude. Kyle is whatever. Like You know, ecstasy, you know, pot. They were selling. They were doing like, I just got to get away from them. So I go into the military, and then I come out, and I'm like, okay. I'm going to learn how to. I was a bodybuilder. I'm going to learn how to sell. This is my way out. So, again, for me, it goes back to the same thing. If if if, Amer if socialism... Yeah, this is like a long-winded fucking socialism. way of saying this. Amazing. Why don't people go to those countries first before they come here? Well, so I would say, number one, there actually there is a refugee crisis in a lot of those countries. Yeah, there is. And it sucks looking at it. God... Look at London, look at Paris, look at, oh my god, look at New Year's Eve, what was that, 2019, in uh, fucking Germany, like, where, fucking, they just raped, like, hundreds of women, thousands of men were running around the street, fresh off the fucking, yeah, dude, like, it's a big problem, but do you know what, Kyle is a big supporter of refugees, look at him, look at that gay, fuck, look at him, god, there are people kind of pouring into those countries. But number two, I think we're talking a little bit past each other because I wouldn't say America's bad. Of course I would. I'm here. I love Oh, really? Are you perplexed that someone would think that about you, Kyle? Just maybe just wikipedia in your ass? No, I'm not. I, I love America, says Kyle. No, he doesn't, dude. Fuck Kyle. This country, right? The, the question is... I think it's just the wrong conversation to have. You're not a capitalism guy. You're not a sport. well. Social democracy harnesses the best aspects of capitalism. So, so there is an element. So maybe maybe so, I'll, I'll pack the difference between yeah, 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 sure, yeah. sure. So that, you know, there's socialism, there's democratic socialism, yeah. and there's social democracy. Social democracy is a hybrid of capitalism and socialism. Yeah. Where basically, it's retarded, and uh, we essentially have that, and a lot of people like don't like it because it's like, I don't know. <laughs> look at the deficit. Look at the debt. Um, what we have is not a lazy fair capitalism system. We have a mixed market economy, which is where you get these social programs.
right? Like subsidized by the government to such a point that it's like, we can't afford it really. And this dumbass wants to spend more money on new programs and just, you know, just keep taxing people more. Just scare the shit out of jobs and <laughs> like, I don't know how the hell any of this works. And he brings up countries that don't even have like much of a defense bill because the United States like, you know, grants their defense. So what he's trying to describe is like retarded. And it's like, no, dude, we think that you just want to push for more socialism. You want actually less of a capitalist economy and more of a socialist economy. And that's why you're the fucking enemy and everyone should reject you. Because what you're just saying is you want more socialism. Yeah, dude, we have a mixed market economy as it is. And like, there's a lot of people that argue that that's not good. And I used to defend the welfare state. But at this point, when people are like, whoa, let's have a welfare state and then port, you know, just unlimited amounts of poverty from the third world. It's like, how does that make sense? I don't want to pay for these fucking foreigners. Like, it doesn't even make sense to have a welfare state and accept this, these amounts of people. I was reading some story today. Some dude just ran into the country illegally, him and his five kids. The dude was barefoot. And I'm like, God, he, he doesn't speak English. He's got fucking no skills. He's a third grade education. He's like, I'm here for a better life. Yeah. Thanks for, uh, like, supporting that guy, Kyle. And, you know, I, we're going to pay for him, too, with your ever-expanding socialist or mixed market economy. Until, like, what, Kyle? Until eventually it looks more socialist than capitalist, doesn't it? That's where all of this ends with you. That's where you and Bernie want to take us into the... You fucking... You're a communist, dude. You just don't want to say it. It's like, eh, slowly down that path, huh? And like, dude's just retarded. I just can't stand this fucking guy. You, you take the best aspects of capitalism, the best aspects of socialism, and you have this this mixed system which you know in theory would yield the best results and i just the reason why I believe yeah in that, like a mixed market economy is the word you're looking for and really you just mean more socialism than we already have so fuck you and no and you're a loser is because i think there's a tremendous amount of empirical evidence to those ends so like for example they do this uh study every couple of years this commonwealth fund study where they look into the healthcare systems of basically, you know, a lot of the developed countries, 11 of the developed countries. And when they do that, we always write, the U.S. ranks 11th out of 11. So we're doing worst on that front. So um, now when it comes to... Yeah, so just nationalize. I mean, like, what are you, what's your point, dude? They get it. You don't have money, you know, like, you don't have insurance, you know, like, medical care. This shit is expensive. It sucks, man. I get it. Like, it's a problem. Everyone agrees with that. What to do about this problem is, I don't know. I, I mean, you're talking about socialism, dude. So, <laughs> like, just, I actually am a good America, American who loves this country, like, unlike you, Kyle. And when I hear someone like you talking about nationalizing and socializing everything, I'm like, yeah, ah, fuck him. That's the enemy. There he is. Point him out. The issue of capitalism, look, I, I mean, I can, I can make the argument for you here. When you look at for example, the cars that came out of the Soviet Union, they were abysmal. They were, you know, they were made by one government agency. There was no uh, competition, so you didn't get a, a better product at a lower price. And that's, that's what I... Yeah, this is true. And also, by the time the fall of the Soviet Union, I think it was something like only three and ten TVs that was came out of the Soviet Union picked up all the channels they were supposed to. Because, you know, like, I mean, there's a whole bunch of disincentives and that system like you're going to get this job you're not going to get a promotion you're not going to get fired you're not going to you're going to keep this job and you're just going to do this job it doesn't matter if you do a good job or you do a bad job there's no incentive structure for you to do, do a good job so yeah the result was these shitty cars and these shitty tvs and the joke in the soviet union was if i remember correctly it was like we pretend to work and they pretend to pay us it's like yeah it's dark so whatever kyle like you actually are like kind of like i think this dude is a communist like he doesn't want to say it he's always pushing towards nationalizing everything i think he does it again with what did he say he wanted to nationalize there's something later on avoid, here which is why i believe in something like social democracy because you could still have or maybe it's not in this clip i i listened to the whole I video to and i think it's good to try I don't to know. get I, you know, the best price with the, the best product and and, and compete do you even, 
Uh, I don't actually think you do, Kyle. Like, I don't think you understand what you're saying or the contradictions in it. Like, I just don't give this guy the benefit of the doubt. People are like, Kyle's smart. He's a smart leftist and, you know, he's on the left, but he's like, no, dude, Kyle is a fucking dumbass. Curious if you would agree with this. Uh, I think we really need to start doing antitrust action again. I think we should do anti-monopoly stuff again because when a business becomes a monopoly, what do you get? Higher prices, worse product. And so you need to break them up, just like Teddy Roosevelt did, to get it to the point where you have more competition and you can harness the best aspects of capitalism. So when you talk about that, so I believe in that, while at the same time I also believe in taking care of the basics. So in other words, uh. um, they have like sectoral bargaining in a lot of the Scandinavian countries. That means you set wages, the union negotiates with management, and you set wages kind of across an entire industry. I think that's a good idea because it helps working people out more. I believe in, like I said, universal health care, universal education, or trade school. You could, you should have your choice, and I think they do that in Germany. They give you an option. You want to go to trade school or you want to go to college. I just hate this notion that in this country, some people come out of college and they're $80,000 in debt, and they're like, well, what the fuck do I do now? And I can't. What did they study? Was it uh, engineering? Could probably get a job doing that. And also, Kyle, like, what's made college way more expensive over the last several decades? Like, could you think of, like, something that happened where the government might have been involved in subsidizing college education to the Department of Education, which caused schools to, I don't know, because they're not retarded, increase tuition, which has been skyrocketing, like, 1,200%, some fucking ridiculous number. Yeah. So maybe you should stop injecting... Or having these student loans be paid for with government guaranteed money because the schools are just going to increase tuition. But all of this, again, all of this just goes back to nationalizing everything. This guy, he's like, yeah, nationalize the universities and the colleges. It's like, uh-huh. I'm not surprised you said that, dude. I'm not surprised. Like, you really want to do that with, like, pretty much everything. And he does because he's a fucking communist. And all that he's doing is pushing, pushing, pushing uh, socialism with capitalism, but, you know, more socialism. And slowly but surely, yeah, he talks about nationalizing the universities and the colleges and then everything else. Like, fuck Kyle, the dude is retarded. I wish, like, he would have got a lot more pushback from a dude like Patrick Bet David, who is a staunch capitalist. I mean, the man owns a fucking insurance company that's crushing it, like, yeah. Like, I just wish I would have seen more pushback. And maybe, I don't know, like, I don't know. Whatever. It is what it is. They can't even pay this back, and then they gotta go take a job where they're way overqualified to even take that job. I think that's fucked up. I just think there shouldn't be such a thing as medical debt or, or school debt. Uh, and I don't think these ideas are all that radical. I think most Yeah, dude, and also, earlier, you said there shouldn't be a such thing as credit card debt. So... Uh, like, I don't really care what you have to say about this. Like, you don't think credit card debt should be a thing. I mean, who the fuck takes out the debt on a credit, uh, the individual? You can't blame anybody who, who, that shouldn't exist. Just people shouldn't have to pay off their debt on their credit card or something. Okay? Well, see what happens. Like, oh, other people should pay for it, huh? Who are you going to tax, Kyle, to pay off every individual's fucking credit card debt? So retarded. This fucking jackass. Would agree with this even people who would consider themselves capitalists so let's go through the school debt sure. let's go through the school debt so who, who caused that like meaning how did we get here because 40 years ago college wasn't that expensive you know yeah look at the numbers of yeah thank years. you patrick yeah who i don't know who subsidized all these fucking college loans that obviously I mean, again the schools see the money it's like free money to them regardless they're gonna raise tuition prices and that's exactly what they fucking did to the point where yeah kyle now you got people coming out of school with eighty thousand dollars worth of debt that they can't like just like uh you know declare bankruptcy on. So more government subsidy, more government like it hasn't worked, jackass. And he's like, well, fine, we just need to nationalize all of them. It's like, of course you would say that, you fucking communist. Today, I think inflation CPI is two hundred and twenty percent in the last forty years uh, since nineteen seventy or nineteen eighty. I think it's nineteen seventy. And then the uh, cost of uh, CPI is the consumer price index. It's like, what is it? Usually um, calculated like housing, 
groceries and fucking there's a third one i don't remember utilities maybe or those are the three that they track to keep track of like cpi but yeah like other goods get expensive or less expensive but they mainly just yeah, anyway you probably already know 1200 cpi 220 percent inflation 1200 percent how do we get to a point where college has become a business it's no longer right. like what it once was started for yeah well college was free or nearly free uh in california and then ronald reagan came in and took that away so it, it really is a matter of priorities um hey hey kyle this is something kyle that should be fully natural kyle was it free fully natural is college free kyle is healthcare free kyle is it really like was it <laughs> like okay like oh reagan in california i don't know uh Reagan was the governor of California, and I know that there was like a big like problem with him, a beef with him, and like the universities and the students and shit. Maybe that's what he's talking about. But it was never free, dumbass. Like nothing is free. You retard. Like he keeps saying, he just thinks like this shit is free. This could all be free. Yeah, get rid of your college and credit card and debt. I mean, that was the fucking retarded one. Credit card debt, really. You know, like, I don't know, dude, like, yeah, like, medical shit, that's, you know, I, I have some sympathy there, but I, I don't know, man, I just, it's like, yeah, these are problems, Kyle, nationalizing everything and just subsidizing everything is not the answer, dumbass, this education system, economically education system. illiterate um, retard. I think this is one of those areas where we've kind of experimented with the free market. And the results have been disastrous in the same way that I think for-profit health insurance companies are basically just a legalized mafia that's in between you and your doctor where they take their cut and they price down. Medicare for all, all Bernie. That's all he's saying. Is... I think there are many industries where um, capitalism and, and competition works out for the better for people. Yeah. Um, this is just not one of those industries, and I think the evidence bears that out. So, okay, so, so uh, nationalized college. So I guess the question goes back to the following. If I got a billion dollars. Uh, and you have a choice between giving a billion dollars to free enterprise. Okay, let's give a billion dollars to Elon. Let's give a billion dollars to Musk. I'm sorry, to Bezos. Let's give a billion dollars to whoever that's in the free market. Take any of the top 200 guys that made it from zero to there. Okay, give a give billion dollars to them. Versus giving a billion dollars to the U.S. government say, here, go see what you can do. I don't know. Everyone knows the answer to this. The correct answer would be to give it to people that have an incentive to fucking not waste it. To make a profit off of it, I mean, that would be the fucking correct answer, but I'm sure, I, I don't remember what Kyle said, actually. Hopefully he's not that dumb as to think, like, you should give the billion dollars to the government that just doesn't, this is like a never-ending money pit, that doesn't care about, like, productivity or, you know, like, turning a profit. No, you should give it to someone that does, like Elon, or... Bezos, I think that's who you brought up. Who do you trust will do more with that billion? Well, it depends on the Yeah, time. would you invest your money in the United States government or would you invest your money in Elon Musk? This is like such a simple question and let's hear Kyle's convoluted dog shit. Right, so uh, I would give the money to the government when it comes to pharmaceuticals because a lot of people don't know this, but for the past two decades, there hasn't been a single drug that hasn't been developed with government grant money. So basically the government steps in, gives money to universities and says, hey, we need this new drug which does X, Y, or Z. And then they create it. And then you have the pharmaceutical really? company. Really? Not a single drug, Kyle? Like, first of all, I don't believe you. All right, let's hear it. All right. Swoop in, buy up the patent rights, and then sell it back to everybody at a profit, even though they didn't fund the research and development. So my answer would be it's a complicated question, and it depends on the, the you know, it depends what we're talking about. They're yeah, but they did fund the production and distribution, did they not? And the drug wouldn't be out on the market if it wasn't for them, right? Like, I just, uh, I, okay, Kyle, whatever, like. Varies where I'd say, yeah, give that money to an entrepreneur. Give me an idea. Be more specific. Give me an idea. Like, I'm actually curious. I'm actually really, you're a smart guy. You're, you're very. No, he's not. You have strong opinions. No, he's not. He's not a smart guy. He certainly does have strong opinions, that's for sure. Wrong opinions. But I'm sorry, dude. I just don't like this guy. Like, from time to time, I make videos shitting on him. I think it was, like, my first video or maybe my 
second or third video I did was shitting on him. And I think that one has like more views than any other video I've ever made. But I think I, I, that video is like from four years ago. I just stopped making videos for four years. And uh, yeah, fuck. I just can't stand the dude. Just can't stand him. Fucking, I used to watch a show. I used to like be a fan. And then I, I don't know exactly what happened. But I just, I turned on the left. I turned on him. I turned on, I was, fuck the left. And this is your world. I'm actually curious. So if I gave a billion dollars to public versus, you know, right. a private, in what areas you think? So one was pharmaceutical fair. What else would you think yeah. they would do good versus they would do bad? Like it's better to put in a free enterprise. Well, the other, I actually just gave the example uh, before, I think with uh, like cars. Uh, the government should have no, no business yeah, in cars. cars. No business in enterprise. Yeah, of course. No okay. business in, you know. Didn't, didn't they give uh, Elon Musk a loan though? I don't know. If I was going to like make your argument, I would point out that like Elon Musk actually got a loan from the federal government with Tesla. And now he's the richest man in the world. But again, Kyle sucks at this because he's a fucking idiot. I don't want the government building like furniture or some shit. That's something that's squarely for technology for the private sector. Te tech, I think, is a little more complicated because a lot of the products that we use today that we kind of take for granted, like stuff like these phones, a lot of that was originally developed with funding from NASA. So in some ways, the government actually does science and technology very well. But to your point, yeah, there's plenty of you know uh, entrepreneurs and, and private investors who would probably do it just as well, if not better, on some time. So if you like this... Nah, they would definitely do it better. And that's my video put out today. I'm going to try to make a video every day just because, like... I don't know. I should. If I want to make videos, I have to make videos. And eventually, I'm going to, like, I don't know, get back to, like, actually editing. And those videos, hopefully, will be better. That being said, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.